Hi guys, welcome to Pixel Affair. It's Kobe here. So today's video is actually um, a quick fix to one of my videos I did earlier and I got a complaint about some technique that I use. So the person um, is complaining about could it be that this technique using the instance for the vertex map does not work anymore in Cinema 4D 2023 and someone also came to complain has um, similar issues and if you go further down you can see um, people complain about um, similar issues and I don't know why that should happen um, in Cinema 4D 2023 because it worked very perfectly in the previous version but let's quickly see how we fix this issue in Cinema 4D 2023 right so let me actually bring Cinema 4D and I can see you can see I have the text in here let's actually make it as N um, as the same old text to so change from X to N and I can see we have the setup. So I have my extruded text. It could be any object um, if you want. And then my poly effects, which is this in making um, all the polygons into separate faces. And now the Jigo deformer and the force, which is um, affecting it. So if I hit play, you can see it disintegrates our text. And if you want to know how this will turn next, then you can actually watch the whole um, tutorial. I don't have to go over it again. But now the issue is that. We want it to grow from the bottom and what we used in the previous version was the more um, the instance object so if i select the text and um, the extrude text and come to my object i can choose instance object right and now i have an instance of the text so if i hide this the connect object you can see we still have the instance right and to get to access to the polygons because it's parametric and initially we couldn't do that we had to use the instance of the, um, the correction deformer so i come into my deformers and i choose correction deformer make it a child of the instance object and I'll come to polygon mode you can see the faces I'll choose polygon mode and now we have access to the faces of our instance object now if I hit ctrl A to select all I'll right I'll come to selection here top here the selection tab and I'll say set vertex weight hit ok and you can see a vertex map has been applied to our correction deformer so we can choose use fields and now you can see a free tag is already applied and everything so we can add like a spherical field make it the spherical field smaller and i'll move it to this side because i want it to grow from this side right and now if you come in here select the freeze let's first of all hit clear and now let's change the mode from none to grow and i did um let's select the terry lens right if i hit play um oh this not showing so you can see let me unhide this if i hit play you can see the table lens is affecting our connect object here right but the most instance object is not connected so if I put select the turbulence um, turbulence um, force come to the fields and drag and drop in the vertex map ideally it should respect the vertex map and should be growing from here but it's not working in Cinema 4D 2023 and I don't know why whether it's the workflow or what's the issue I've tried several ways around so if maybe there's a way around maybe somebody can let me know but then let's delete this whole the force and everything the more instance and let's go back to our initial text again but the thing is that it's even easier in cinema 4d 2023 right so if you want to do the same effect making it grow on it's way easier in cinema 4d 2023 and it's just as simple so first of all let's come in here and create a uh, turbulence force again select the turbulence select the jiggle deformer and I'll apply the turbulence to it and then um, let's actually increase the turbulence a bit and increase the skill as well and if you hit play you can see we have it dismantling but if you want it to grow from here it's just as simple because in Cinema 4D 2023 we can add vertex mask straight to any parametric object you can right click on the connect object and come to other tags and I'll add vertex map and see we have vertex map applied to our connect object so I will come in here and I'll add a spherical field I'll make the spherical field um, smaller and now move it on the side here because we want it to grow from here all right let's make it smaller and now select the vertex map again you can now come to the modify layers and i'll add freeze right let's change the blend mode of the freeze from normal to max and now let's select the freeze first of all let's hit clear so that it doesn't have initial things stored and now let's change the mode from none to grow and if we hit play you can see our vertex map is going but we've not applied it to the table lens, right so let's select the table lens, come to the fields and now let's drag and drop in our vertex map and if we hit play 
can see the vertex map is going but the turbulence is not working and that's because if you select the vertex map make sure you use the form point the formed points is unchecked so i'll uncheck it and now if i hit play you can see it's smoothly growing from the bottom and everything is parametric so i can come in here and i'll select the text and i'll change it to like the s that we have initially and you can see we are, like there's this you know vertex map issue and everything so all you have to do is to come to the vertex map again select the freeze and hit clear so that it clears the initial and then it continues from there so that's basically how you fix some the issue in cinema 4d 2023 i don't know why um some of the stuff keeps breaking in the updated version of cinema 4d but there's always ways around it and it's sometimes even easier so i hope this was helpful for anybody who have similar issue uh, with that particular tutorial thank you for watching um, and i'll see you in the next one